Welcome back to the bench. So we have an old friend on the bench. I don't know if you guys recognize it, but I was quite surprised. So here's my quick story. I was working on the K1 serial number 779, the one that we looked at a little while ago with the weird sort of intermittence and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that thing is up and running. I've been using it. But then during that debug, I had borrowed the uh, two band module out of this K1 to, to do some debug and I put it back and then I remembered, this is our <laughs> old friend that was, uh, all the videos were called Broken Elecraft K1 for $250. So I look back and I think maybe it wasn't the smartest choice to buy because there's a whole series of videos about trying to get it to work and it does receive and I believe it was up in transmitting as well. Um, but it, it isn't without its issues so far. So it is a odd combination. It's 17 meters and 15 meters. And, uh, well, let's see if we, if we get back to the original list, when I got it, the tuning pot was broken in half and hanging loose. The uh, KBT one was not connected, just riding along with the speaker hanging there. It would hiss, but it wouldn't do anything else. And obviously you couldn't tune it because the pot wasn't connected to the, uh, to the wiper. The only sign of life it had was a little bit of hiss from the audio and uh, the RIT and XIT LEDs worked. So now it does, uh, it does receive. I would actually have to go back. The first video was August of 2023. So it's been a long time since I played with it. And I guess I need you guys to tell me. So I looked on the, the, the uh, Elecraft website you can actually, you can find the part number and it's listed for sale. The, the new front panel would be a $50 update. When I tried to add it to cart, it doesn't add. So I think that means they're out of stock. But uh, let me go through a couple of things that this thing needs. And uh, you guys can tell me if we should play with it or we should just put it back on the shelf for now. So first of all, we'll see we're on uh, 17 meters. So that should start at 68. I've listened to a couple of stations on it, so it does receive. I don't hear anything right now. So we'll try, uh, let's see, get over to the 40 meter dipole that should work okay here. On 15 meters, not much going on there either. So we won't spend much time on that. But the first issue I would say is that the uh, VFO range <laughs> goes down to 89.9. So 15 meters is 20, let's do that again. What was that? 20.989. So we're wasting some bottom end and the top because we waste all the bottom end goes to 21056. So that's not as wide as it could be. And it does receive some things, I guess. Some nice interference. Sounds Sounds to me like somebody's TV or something just came on. So then we'll go here and we can see that it's way too low there. So the uh, 17 meter band should be 18068, but we have 18039 and the top is Eighteen one oh six, so not the best. And I remember the reason I'm doing this is because I remember one of the issues was whoever built this glued all the windings onto the VFO uh, toroid. So that would be one issue. Would be we'd have to wind a new VFO toroid, or at least break loose all the wires. And uh, the other issue was when we had it apart. We can go in here and look. So you can see it has the KBT-1, has the speaker hole on the side. It didn't have a speaker washer, so there's a bad piece of foam kind of cut out to hold that. 
So we'll get this out of the way. Then I'll show you some of the other issues and you guys can vote. Like I, I was thinking of going back to the K2s or a couple of other projects, maybe build the KAT2 for one of the, one of the K2s. Um, so it, it was quite ugly and still, still is quite ugly. So if I, if I zoom in, you can see the resistor pack that's supposed to be here for this filter is actually discrete resistors, which is pretty ugly. And you can see this one varactor is hanging off in the weeds. So we did some work to get it to run, but I think they were sort of tack joints to make things happen. And then here's the uh, completely glued down VFO toroid that I'd have to go work on for that. And uh, one of the ugly issues is way down here in the corner, the key jack was just, the traces were just destroyed. So they were wired in with wires and uh, somebody had put in uh, just a screw on jack that connected into the back panel here instead of the one that fits the PC board. So I ordered that last night from Elecraft. And if you can believe it, uh, this is probably not 25 years old, but it's probably 20 because the serial number is uh, 2293. That's fairly new. And it has the current firmware, I think, which is 109E. So it's not ancient, but it certainly was mistreated. So we could um, wait for that key jack to come. We could uh, rewind the VFO coil. And I also ordered a 40 meter band kit because I think it'd be a lot more fun to have maybe 40 and 15 or 40 and 17. Um, you can't get the 20 meter kit anymore. So I didn't try to, I didn't get that ordered. I might've put it on 40 and 20 if I had a choice, but 40 and 15 seems like it might be kind of fun. You guys can vote on that as well if it should be uh, 40 and 15, 40 and 17, or just leave it as is, or maybe put it back on the shelf. So somebody asked me, do you ever think about selling any of the Elecrats you have? Like, well, this would, be, <laughs> this would be one, but I would feel guilty selling it because it, it has been so abused in its life. So I think we'll try to get it, uh, get it going with its uh, ugly... I have never looked under here why why they taped these on, but I assume it's because, yeah, yeah, they're worn off. And uh, so the play menu is missing. I, I guess the other yellow things are must be equally scratched off. So I think we'll just leave those on for now. So if you have a, a dead K1 or a spare front panel or uh, need a parts radio, let me know about that. But... Uh, I guess it's recoverable. I can put the key jack in it and uh, adjust the VFO, and it would be a functioning K1 anyway. So there's a quick update uh, from what we were playing with back in August of 2023, and uh, I'll put it back together for now until the key jack shows up, and then uh, we might take it up as another project. Thanks for watching. See you.